Good morning. Day 47, still here in Pagosa Springs. Decided to take a zero day. Didn't get settled in the hotel till four and it was just pouring down rain. I didn't feel like doing the resupply yesterday. So getting ready to get on the bus here and go to Walmart and get the resupply done. Plus there's a couple things in town I wanted to do. There's some hot springs right here on the river I wanna go swim in and it's my wife's birthday. So I wanna make sure I can talk to her because uh, yeah, the least I can do is talk to her on her birthday. It's the third time I've missed her birthday while being on a hike, so that sucks. And uh, yeah, just want to be able to talk to her. But I'm uh, going to go and get the rest of my chores done, get my resupply, and just relax today. I honestly, it just kind of feels nice to lay in a bed, watch TV, and uh, chill. So really all I need to do is finish up the resupply stuff and uh, should be ready to hit the trail tomorrow morning. My zero day in Pagosa Springs is almost over. As you can see, this is a beautiful little town, pretty touristy and uh, pretty expensive actually, but uh, it has everything that you would ever want. I'm actually going to this uh, cocktail bar that a guy recommended to me and have one good cocktail before I head out for this next section. But. Uh, the Walmart ordeal took me like three and a half hours to get a hitch there and do my thing and get back. And then did some work on my shorts, fixed a hole, put a button on them and uh, relaxed a little bit, did some hot springs, swam in that a little bit and just uh, chillax today and talked to my wife a few times because it is her birthday. So wanted to make sure I got to talk to her today and uh, tomorrow we will get out of here, but I'm all packed up, I'm ready to go, we'll get some breakfast in the morning, and we will hit the trail. Yes, absolutely. Good morning, day 48 on the CDT. Getting out of Pagosa Springs, finally after a zero day, much needed rest and relaxation without having to worry about my feet. It was just nice to chill, but I'm gonna go get a big breakfast. Uh, it's still pretty early, not much traffic, so I think I'll have a little hard time hitching. And uh, hopefully by eight o'clock or so, if traffic will pick up, I can get a ride back up to the pass. But awesome spot here in Pagosa Springs. Springs right along the river. Really beautiful spot, but ready to get back on the trail. Made it back to Wolf Creek Pass. Took me about five minutes to get a hitch. Awesome guy, Ross, in a built-out Sprinter van gave me a ride. So that was awesome. Ready to hit this next section. It's 120 miles. I got six days of food, so very little room for error here. And uh, should be a tough stretch, so let's get on it.
it is lunchtime. Got a nice water source here. Gonna hydrate up, eat a snack, and uh, get ready to head up on this ridge here where these uh, dark clouds are looming, of course. But uh, on the struggle bus again, out of town, um, these climbs are just hard. I don't know if it's the, the weight of the pack or just, I don't know, being so lazy yesterday, but it's hard hiking today. But hopefully this will give me some energy to push up to the top of that. And then uh, hopefully we can get that 20 miles in today. Made it to camp. I am all set up here. Got a nice little wind block from the trees and a wall somebody built and a nice little view here of some mountains. Water source over there, so really good spot. And I've been staring at this dark rain cloud for a little while, so I wanted to get set up before the impending doom. But hard day for me. And uh, just, I don't know what the deal is with being so exhausted coming out of town, but uh, Maybe not eat so much pizza and beer and cheeseburgers in the next town. Maybe get some carrots and salad or something. So maybe try to get some nutritional value in my next town. But uh, yeah, gonna rest up. It's just about six o'clock. So I'm going to bed early, get a good night's sleep. And hopefully that energy is back with me tomorrow and uh, we can get some good miles in. Hardly any snow today. I think I've crossed over two little small patches, but hardly anything. So. I'm wondering what it'll look like in this next stretch and maybe I can send my spikes and ice axe home all that time I spent worrying about being late and you know whatever it was perfect I'm I'm hitting this area at the perfect time the snow is not bad I've got lots of water and it's beautiful 
again the storms kind of put a damper on things but uh is what it is but i'm gonna eat up rest up and do it again tomorrow <laughs>